Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If it's your first time joining us, a very special welcome to Escape Forever Free. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, an extra, extra special welcome back to escape forever free now this particular video marks our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide it aims to help you to build a healthy habit of spending at least one hour with god every single day so you choose your best sacrificial time for the day or the week turn up at that time watch this video and at the end of it you continue for one hour you and god alone we do invite that you consider prayerfully if this can be of benefit to you and if so you subscribe and stay with us we also do provide other um, guidance in exercise in choosing as well as we do um, mental education and um, discussions so we do invite also for you to peruse the channel and see what it is that can be of benefit to you here again welcome to escape forever free so we're going now into our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide in this season we are still being guided by the great controversy we do use the 1888 edition we also do use the king james version of the bible to complement and supplement our reading so grab both copies and join us now all right so we're we'll gonna pray and then continue father we thank you for taking us to another time together father to put out effort in drawing closer to you as we spend more time with you we pray, for, pray father that for all of us here who so desire that by beholding you we will truly become changed into your perfect character and image help us to be perfect father even as you in heaven are perfect as we also go into preparation day we pray that you'll tune our hearts and minds heavenwards as we prepare to greet the sabbath day we pray father that our hearts and minds will be tuned to heavenly things and father we will also, Father, by your Holy Spirit empowerment, honor the Sabbath day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're going to go straight into our memory text, which we have been practicing all week. It's now time to attempt to recite that memory text um, that we have been practicing. So our memory text this week came to us from Acts 1 and verse 8. So Acts 1 and verse 8 says... But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem and in sorry, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and unto the uttermost part of the earth. All right, let's read it and see if it's correct. It says, Acts 1, verse 8, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. I think we did forget Samaria. So it says, Acts 1, verse 8, But ye shall, be, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in jerusalem and in all judea and in samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth we pray god help us to be able to recall it even more perfectly um, in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own souls so we're going to now pick up in the great controversy where we left off we're going to start pick up at page 386.2 so let's get our great controversies and begin it says commenting on the present attitude of professed christians toward the world a leading secular journal says quote insensibly the church has yielded to the spirit of the age and adapted its forms of worship to modern wants all things indeed that help to make religion attractive the church now employs as its instruments end of quote and a writer of the new york independent speaks thus concerning methodism methodism at as it is quote 
the line of separation between the go the godly and irreligious fades out into a kind of penumbra penumbra and zealous men on both sides are toiling to obliterate all differences between their modes of action and enjoyment the popularity of religion tends vastly to increase the number of those who would secure its benefits without squarely meeting its duties end of quote says howard crosby quote the church of god is today courting the world its members are trying to bring it down to the level of the ungodly the ball the theater nude and lewd art social luxuries with all their loose moralities are making inroads into the sacred enclosure of the church and a satisfaction for all this worldliness and as a satisfaction for all this worldliness christians are making a great deal of lent and easter and church ornamentation it is the old trick of satan the jewish church struck on that rock the romish church was wrecked on the same and the protestant is fast reaching the same doom end of quote in this tide of worldliness and pleasure seeking self-denial self-sacrifice for christ's sake are almost wholly lost quote some of the men and women now in active life in our churches were educated when children were educated when children to make sacrifices in order to be able to give or to do something for christ but if funds are wanted now nobody must be called on to give oh no have a fair tableau a mock trial an antiquarian supper or something to eat anything to amuse the people end of quote governor washburn of wisconsin in his annual message declared quote that church fairs charitable raffles concert lotteries for charitable and other purposes price packages grab bags sabbath school and other religious chances chances by ticket are nurseries of crime inasmuch as they promise something for nothing are games of chance and are really gambling he says that the pernicious spirit of gambling is fostered encouraged and kept alive by these agencies to a degree little known by good citizens and that but of them the ordinary laws against gambling would be much less violated and much more easily enforced these practices he declares are not to be permitted any longer to debauch the morals of the young end of quote nothing new under the sun here to comment if we were to today examine our many practices in our religious groups our churches specifically we observe the same kind of worldly incorporation where we do so many things in the name of christ um call fundraisers to get money to perform duties at church that we deem to be relevant um those includes all forms of um special teas special concerts of the um that are not lifting up the name of christ or pointing men directly to christ and focuses so much on entertainment and very often in a lot of these entertainment so-called fundraising activities as is read here this morning we see the um practice of gambling in its own version in our very churches may god have mercy upon us to truly examine our practices and see whether it is that they do glorify god 
Let us end here for today. We go now to our meditational hymn. Number 368, Watchman Blow the Gospel Trumpet. We do stanza four. Sound it for the heavy laden, weary longing to be free. Sound the Savior's invitation, sweetly saying, come to me. Blow the trumpet, trusty watchman, blow his loud on land and sea, God commissions. Sound the message, every captive may be free. Let us pray. Holy Father, thank you so much for giving us another opportunity to be exposed to truth and light. Help us truly to examine our habits as it concerns um, bringing the world into the church and in any way that we're guilty, whether it's through the temple, the first church, or the extended church, the physical body of believers, Father, may we um, make right or folly and forgive us and have mercy upon us, we pray. As you go into Sabbath hours, we pray that you'll renew our hearts and minds and empower us through your Holy Spirit to keep the Sabbath day holy. We surrender everything to you. Be thou glorified, we pray. And give us a Sabbath blessing as we enter into it. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Happy Sabbath when it begins at sunset, wherever in the world you are. May God enable all of us to keep it holy all the way through to sunset on Saturday, wherever in the world you are. God bless you, and please do now continue for one hour, you and God alone, sticking always to the Holy Scriptures, the blueprint to eternal life. God bless you.